Thank you, Andrea. Family violence turned SWAT situation on Monday after teacher calls 911 during class. Schools in El Paso are noticing the toll this pandemic has taken on children and their families at home. KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxer talks with a school district and family violence counselor who says this problem is getting worse. Good morning, Carla. Good morning, Susie. Well, Superintendent of Isleta Independent School District says that students that used to find sanctuary, a safe place in the school, are now stuck at home where some of them face abuse, a problem that's been getting worse. An online class turned SWAT situation. Isleta Independent School District student involved in family violence incident had his teacher call 911 for help. The superintendent of the district, Xavier De La Torre, says now more their students have been victims of family violence. We are aware of the fact that the numbers have escalated significantly since students uh, have stayed home. De La Torre says all teachers are trained to recognize and react to family violence with students. But with classes online, he says agencies have been notifying the schools about the rising number of students in violent households. This is the other dark side to the pandemic uh, where we've lost some control. Uh, you know, when it comes to helping these students. He says the lockdown has impacted the decline of students' mental health and believes the only remedy is coming back to in-person class. We want them back as soon as it is safe for them to come back. But domestic violence, even though hidden behind the screen, still can be recognized. If there is any visible injuries, kind of off explanations to those visible injuries, um, or maybe they're usually on camera and they're not coming on camera anymore. Center Against Sexual and Family Violence is open for all victims and offers counseling support throughout the pandemic. Executive Director is advising, open your eyes and follow your gut. One call can make a difference.